This video is a showcase of projects built by people who support me through Patreon and YouTube channel membership, who I'm really grateful to because it really helps fund the channel and it really makes all the difference to the projects. I've put links in the description to the projects if you'd like to check out more. Kevin has a lot of great robotics and microcontroller videos in his channel. Kevin's been using the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller a lot recently, and there are quite a few tutorials in his channel about using MicroPython and various peripherals such as ultrasonic rangefinders. Kevin's built various robots, including Pico Cat, Pico Crab, and Smars Mini, and he goes into quite some depth about these builds and how they work. And by the way, SMARS stands for Screwless Modular Assemblable Robotic System, and Kevin runs the fan site for this which you can check out at smarsfan.com. There's a great video about getting started with robotics, and it looks like Kevin's also dabbled with the InMove Humanoid project. He also has some Fusion 360 tutorials, so this is a great channel to check out if you want to get started with some cost-effective robot projects. Ben's up next with some real and simulated robotics videos. Ben is studying reinforcement learning and robotics and would like to build a large robot with an arm on that can navigate autonomously and do useful tasks. So a bit like my really useful robot project I guess. Ben has built a 5 degree of freedom robot arm with a compliant gripper and he's also recently got into mapping with ROS on an omni wheel base which is something I need to try out myself at some point. Next is Patchbot, who I featured in my previous Patreon showcase video with his L3 robot. There are lots of Star Wars videos in Patchbot's channel, including a clone trooper cosplay, but his latest project is a Star Wars Grand Inquisitor spinning lightsaber build. This build uses a lazy Susan bearing and a CNC cut ring gear which seems to run really well. The blades are made from diffused super bright neopixels which looks really good. There are lots of details in the channel and more coming soon, so check it out! Keegan has built a Pi Wars robot called McFeagal Prime, which looks a bit like Johnny Five. It's manually controlled for now, but has two arms, which each have seven degrees of freedom. McFeagal Prime has cameras in its eyes, so it can feed back imagery to the remote and be used for teleoperation, although the eventual plan is to have some autonomous features. Keegan also has some other robotics projects in his channel, including Raspberry Pi and Arduino-controlled Roombas. Eric's building a human-sized bipedal robot which looks like it's using O-drives and brushless motors. There's quite a lot of design information in Eric's channel and it looks pretty good. I really like the simulation and physical robot side-by-side -side shots. It looks like there's an inverse kinematic model which works out alright, but this is still of course a work in progress and it looks like there have been a few issues to work out with the linearity of the actuator and joint rotation relationship which is handled with some calibration curves. Eric's using Unity, the game engine, for simulations. Next up, it's Michael. He's been building another biped called Leo, which may look familiar to some of you. It's a clone and rebuild of my Robot X project. Well, smoke came out at one point, and it doesn't balance on its own yet, but it can in fact move all of its joints and locomote with the help of a walking frame. This one is primarily using a Raspberry Pi for its main computer and some higher resolution encoders than I had. There's also a really great video about the story of building Leo, including Michael's high school team who helped out. Michael is also attempting some other projects including his own VR tracking equipment using IR markers, which is looking pretty good. Next up, it's Nadia with some cool costume parts. These are modelled in a similar application to ZBrush, 3D printed and include articulated sections like the jaw to allow expression through the character. Lighting is also included in the projects with a variety of styles that can be selected by the wearer. I believe commissions are open, so check out the links in the description if this is something you'd be interested in. Thomas is building various humanoid and animatronic robots, including Robot Simone, which has a human-like skin. There's quite a lot of interesting animatronic mechanisms under the face which allow various features including the eyelids, eyebrows and jaw to move. There are lots of other interesting projects in Thomas's channel, including Robot Betty 9 and lots of other robots that seem to be part of robot meetups that Thomas has attended over the years. Next up is Matthew with his Robot Lawnmower project. 
This lawnmower is driven by wheelchair motors and those are controlled by a Dimension Engineering Sabretooth 2x25 which handles mixing the steering and throttle channels from a standard hobby RC receiver. And power comes from a 6S LiPo tucked under the top cover. The motor blade is controlled using a Palulu RC relay on channel 3 and powered by a separate internal LiPo included with the original electric lawnmower. You can check out some video of the mower in action which looks pretty effective. Alex has a channel called Finally Functional. Have you ever wanted to walk around freely when you're using VR without bumping into things in the real world? Well Alex has the answer with his VR shoes. He's made quite a lot of effort to develop these through various versions and changes and there's quite a lot of test footage in his channel showing how acceleration and deceleration works. In the later videos the walking motion is looking really smooth and these shoes actually have motorised wheels to control the motion so you don't just fall all over the place like being on roller skates. There are still some improvements to make though so check it out for more coming soon. Andrew's got two great write-ups for his projects on Hackster.io. The first is a Marvel inspired Arduino controlled mobile for his baby. Andrew wanted a simple mobile controlled by a servo but with a safe mounting rather than it being suspended directly above the crib. At each side there are 3D printed and foam arcs with lights attached. Servos with additional gearing are used to move the arcs and each side of the mobile is mounted to each side of the crib. The control electronics are based around an Arduino Uno which is powered by a USB boost pack style battery. The second project is a Raspberry Pi controlled spaceship dashboard for kids inspired by an old compact portable computer. This was built for Andrew's 4 year old niece to add to her cardboard spaceship. The control panel has a 7 inch screen and various control switches and buttons as well as NeoPixel lighting and a speaker. The majority of the code is Python using Pygame for graphics and interaction as well as assets created in GIMP. Video can also be played which the device automatically downloads from a Google Drive location on startup. This means it's effectively possible to send video messages to the device by uploading them to the correct location in advance. Thanks to everyone who submitted a project for this video and thanks to everyone who supports me through Patreon and YouTube channel membership and the links to those things are in the description to this video as well as all of the projects that you've seen in this video if you want to check out more. The next regular video in my channel comes up on Tuesday so don't forget to check that out. Alright that's all for now.